Diana Kander. I'm a founder, an investor, and an entrepreneur in residence at the Kauffman Foundation for Entrepreneurship. And today I'm here to talk to you about diagnosing customer problems. But before I do, I just wanted to take a second to talk about the Kauffman Foundation. It's a $2 billion foundation whose entire objective is to study and promote entrepreneurship. It was founded by an entrepreneur who had nothing but a high school education and in the 1950s started a pharmaceutical company that he went on to sell for over a billion dollars. And he had the foresight to take the vast majority of that money and put it into a foundation that helps entrepreneurs like you and me start and grow companies. Now, on to diagnosing your customers' problems. We're all here at the Lean Startup Conference. We know that the keys to success are to find a product market fit. But the trick is that not every problem that you'll discover is gonna translate into a successful business. It's finding those problems that are causing real pain for your customers, right? Has anybody ever seen this movie? The more serious a problem you can identify, the more easy it will be to sell your solution to your customers. So uh, there are two kinds of problems that you'll be able to discover. Headache problems and migraine problems. Let's start with headache problems. Headaches are a minor annoyance that most people are rarely going to do anything about. You're just going to wait for it to fade away. So this is my dog, Winston Churchill. He's pretty awesome. I take Winston on a lot of walks, and he'll poop like once or twice on every single walk. And if somebody were to ask me, is it annoying or a problem to pick up after your dog, I would say, yes, it is awful. It is embarrassing. I have to have my hand in it. It is awful. But would I buy a solution to that problem? No, probably not. I've never researched it, and using a bag from the grocery store works pretty well. I've never gone online and looked for a pooper scooper I can carry with me, or whatever that thing is, I've never put it on my dog. It's embarrassing. This problem is a headache problem. Short of taking some over-the-counter medication, I'm not gonna do anything to fix it. Now, let's talk about migraine problems. So this is just a short list of symptoms for migraines. Blurred vision, nausea and vomiting, dizziness, fever. This is a serious problem, okay? It's so serious that people have gone to extreme lengths to cure migraines. They take anti-seizure medicine, they get Botox, acupuncture, and even brain surgery to treat migraines. This is a very serious problem. So a few weeks ago, uh, Winston got extremely sick. He was uh, vomiting every couple hours. He wouldn't eat or drink any water. It was serious. So after 20 hours of this, I rushed him to the vet's office and they put him in intensive doggy care. It was awful. And at that point, I would have paid any amount of money to bring my dog back to health. And thankfully, he's fine today. But at that moment, I had a migraine problem. So how do you find migraine problems that your startup can solve? The first thing that you need to do is interview your customers with an open mind. Don't try to sell problems to your potential customers. Ask them what kinds of problems they really have. So I have some sample questions that you can use when you're interviewing potential customers to find out what they have. First, on a scale of 1 to 10, how seriously does this problem affect your life? Again, don't try to push a problem on anybody. Truly ask them what level of importance it has onto their life. Next, how do you currently solve this problem? This is perhaps the most important question you can ask because if they don't currently have some way to solve that problem, like a bag that they put on their hand, then they're not going to pay for any solution to solve it. It's not important. How much would you pay to solve this problem? Think back to the Winston example. There's a big difference in what I would spend on pooper scoopers versus bringing my dog back to life. So the more money somebody's willing to spend on something, the more likely they have a migraine problem versus a headache. And finally, what other solutions have you already considered? If they've tried other products, it's likely that they have a migraine. If they've tried and failed at other things, they're more likely to try your product. So I'm not saying you can't be successful at selling to solve headache problems. I'm just telling you that your pathway to success is gonna be a lot shorter with migraine problems. Your customers are gonna rush to buy your product. They're gonna tell other people about it and they're gonna become loud advocates for your product. So I wish you all to find migraine problems in your startups to solve. Thank you.